California's picturesque Napa Valley, home to some of the most respected vineyards in the world and one of the state's top tourist spots. When the winery industry and the uh, vineyard industry took off in Mendocino County, it was after Prohibition. The reason for that is you had the ability to market your wines. John Pinches is a county supervisor in Mendocino, California, about 155 miles north of San Francisco, who'd like to see a similar marketing approach with pot. I think that'll bring in tourists from all over the world to look at uh, how we process and grow the finest marijuana in, in the world. Maybe tasting rooms where they put it in brownies or smoking uh, rooms. It certainly is the cash crop in an area of Northern California known as the Emerald Triangle where it's estimated that up to $4.4 billion of marijuana is grown each year. It's a demand out there that's, that's demanded by millions of people, and I think that that's the American way. If there's demand out there, then find a way to supply that demand. In November, California voters will decide whether or not to fully legalize the drug. If the ballot measure passes, pot would be legal for anyone over 21 years old, Anyone could grow it and it could be taxed. The State Board of Equalization says it would generate more than $1 billion in additional tax revenue for the state each year. But opponents say don't let that number fool you. The regulatory costs and the associated public health costs and public safety costs will far exceed uh, the tax revenue. I thought the two guys with the beanies and the shears, they were really going at it, sitting down there. Hey, they got a job, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Employed. Uh, <laughs> if the law passes, California would be the first state where pot would be legal for recreational use. And a poll conducted last year shows that 56% of voters in California are in favor of passing that.